What's going on YouTube? Uh, it's Indigenous Rookie Cards, aka Name, coming at you with a new video. Um, I wanted to do part two of my honorable mention for 2020 pickups, and I got the cards out right here. Uh, we're just gonna get right to it. So, um, first card up on the on the part two of my honorable mention is this 2019-20 Upper Deck Synergy Brady Keeper Purple Auto out of 25. And this one is a PSA 9 and it's a it's a pop one. So this is the only card that's been graded so far from this set um, for Brady Keeper out of this particular card. This is, once again, this is the purple out of 25. Uh, I'm not too sure if you can see that out of 25 at the bottom, but this is a really cool looking card. Like, I mean, I, I don't mind Synergy all that much. It's not like my, uh, all, like one of my all time favorite sets or anything, but I mean, they have a really cool look to the cards. Um, really nice, nice looking. Um, acetate part to it as well. You can see through it. Uh, you can't really tell in the video, but um, these are really cool looking cards. And I I picked this one up off eBay, uh, probably October-ish, um, right before uh, the year ended. And, um, and I was really happy to pick this one up for my Brady Keeper collection. Really nice card to have. I mean, like you can see the reflectiveness in the in the video. Um, just a really sharp looking card, and I, I really like this card. Um, very low numbered, out of 25, so um, really happy about that and, and getting that into my Brady Keeper collection. Um, the next card up is this 2003-04 um, Atomic McDonald's Jordan 22 Rookie Auto out of 100. Uh, this is a die cut card, and I remember these cards are like, they were so hot back in the day, like in 2003-04. Um, if you could get your hands on one of these autos, I'm probably running you about 200 bucks or so. Um, I got this for about, I mean, maybe 20% of that um, with shipping. Um, the cards, I mentioned this in a previous video, but Tutu's cards have, you know, they've come down significantly over the years. And um, back in 2003 or four, he was one of the like more popular rookies at the time. Um, so, and that, at the same time, like the McDonald's cards were um, the autos and the jerseys during this kind of era were really hard to find and um, really popular. And if you could find one, um, it was going to cost you a bit of change to get it. Um, this is a card I've always wanted for my tutu collection. Um, it's a card I've been watching on eBay. I mean, several of them pop up. They pop up quite frequently lately. Um, and I was just waiting for the the right price to come up and uh, I was able to find this one like this like a lot of Tutu's cards from 0304 have really clean autos um, there's not a lot of fading that I've found um, just really really sharp autograph as well at the time his autograph has changed over the years um, when you look at it from when he was a rookie till maybe 05, 06, 06, 07 the autos change and then they start changing again towards the end of his career. So um, if you get a chance to look at that, um, you know, try and notice uh, the, the, su the subtle changes of his auto over there. Like his rookie year though, I would say his rookie year is probably his best, his best year for his autos just because the autos are really sharp. They're really um, easy to read. You know it's Jordan Tutu and he did a really great job of autographing all these cards. Um, up next, Another Jordan 22 card. This is from the 2003-04 Be a Player um, memorabilia. This is a, a Sapphire uh, rookie out of 100. Um, I picked this up right at the end of the year. So like right before Christmas, this came up on eBay. Um, really, really cheap considering this is the only copy I've ever found. Uh, this is out of 100, like I mentioned. And as soon as I seen it come up, um, I didn't even bother doing an auction for it I just hit the bin the bin was so cheap I just couldn't believe it because I, I honestly like I've been collecting tutu going on you know six seven years now and I I've never seen this card come up um, so I had to take advantage of that when it did and just hitting hitting the bin on an eBay wasn't even a question for me I had to get this card in my collection just because uh, so hard to find 
uh, I, I think out of 100 is is relatively low um, for a rookie card and then also from this you know particular year like um, you, you just don't see these cards around so I I have to jump on it and, and buy that card next up um, not a super expensive card it's kind of an oddball card this is from 1992-93 um, Highlander fish sticks actually and this is a uh, this is a centennial collector series of all the Stanley Cup winners so why does this card stand out um, just a really you know uh, simple card you find in a box of Highlander fish sticks back in 92-93 and the reason why this card is so important because this this team right here is the Winnipeg Victoria Stanley Cup winners um, back in 1896 and one of the players on this team is um, it's Rod Flett who was one of the first well he was the first I would say the first indigenous player to win a Stanley Cup so this this Stanley Cup winning team was a, a Stanley Cup winner before the NHL was the NHL and they had one of the flat brothers on there who is who is probably the first indigenous player to win a Stanley Cup ever so um, a buddy on eBay um, said this card popped up asked me if I've ever seen it I'd never seen it this was like last January um, you know and he shared the auction with me um, told me Rod Flett was on there so I had to buy this card just because just for the historical significance of it like this is probably his only only hockey card um, and you know it's it's such an oddball card like yeah I like I don't even know where else to find one of these like uh, this set does come up on eBay like if you search it for on if you search it on eBay you could probably find one of these cards um, but I just you know you never see them around like you go to card shows you go online you never see a card like this just because like nobody's collecting them but this card right here has a lot of historical significance because of the fact that Rod Flett Métis was I would say the first indigenous player to win a Stanley Cup um, and later his brother Magnus would join him um, and he w he would win a couple Stanley Cups with the Winni Winnipeg Victorias as well but Rod Flett uh, won three Stanley Cups uh, with the Winnipeg Victorias and I'm not even sure which um, which guy he is on here. It's it's hard to tell. It's he's in the back row, and it says left to right. So I'm guessing this is him right here, in the very back. So if you do get a copy of this card, just know that is Rod Flett, uh, and this is a really cool card, and it is in my honorable mention for pickups of 2020. Okay, next card up. Um, is this 2016-17 uh, exquisite uh, Brandon Montour patch out of, out of 71. Um, so this is number two's jersey number. Uh, I, I, this is the second copy of it that I picked up. I do have another one right here just to kind of compare. Um, I posted this on my eBay, uh, my eBay, my Instagram a while back asking um, if this was an upgrade. Um, this is a really nice card. Um, I think it's like I don't even know what it's from uh, there it's three color but it's it's really nice you can see inside like it's a curve if somebody knows um, Anaheim Ducks fan who knows what this patch could be from um, let me know but I, I just I, I thought it was a really cool card exquisite it's a really nice set um, picked this up really cheap uh, so um, it did make it into my honorable mention. Uh, I do have a Brandon Montour uh, collection as well. I don't know if I have a video of, uh, of my entire Brandon Montour collection on e on uh, in uh, on YouTube or not. Sorry, it's getting late. I'm tired. Um, but it, um, if I do, I'm, I probably do need to up, uh, update it just because of the amount of cards that I picked up in the last year or so. So next up. And, and once, um, I should have mentioned this, this is in no particular order. This is just kind of going through my list here as they're sitting in front of me. Um, next up is this 2018-19 uh, SP Authentic Future Watch Auto Patch of Ethan Bear. Such a nice card. Like, 
Upper Decks did, did such a good job with these. Like, look at the reflectiveness on there. I, I love that. Like, look at all the colors around that patch and on the on the title of the card where it says watch um ethan bear i do have a small ethan bear collection like i haven't picked up ethan bear collect cards in probably a year just because the the prices for his cards have skyrocketed so much and um you know they just don't make sense to me so uh to, to each your own i mean like he does have a lot of values like a um, popular uh, player in the hobby and I have nothing against that I just some of the cards are more than I would prefer to pay for him um, just at this point of his career but this one here is a, a really awesome card I, I picked this up in a private deal off of Instagram just one of my buddies who you know we do deals regularly uh, and he set this aside for me and because he knew he knows about my collection he knows I collect Ethan Bear uh, and he offered this for me and he said you know what he's like you just grab this from me when you can grab this from me it's not going anywhere so uh very happy about that and and really really um think it's cool that there's a lot of awesome people in the hobby who would do things like that for me holding on to cards uh until I'm, I'm able to buy them um also even just sending me cards it's it just been super awesome um, to interact with people that way and to see that people want to contribute to my collection in some way. Uh, I just appreciate that so much. Um, next up is a 2008-09, the cup, Kyle Chiptura gold um, rookie auto patch. Uh, and this one is out of 28, so it's number two is Jersey. Uh, I've never seen another copy of this card. Um, there's a lot of like, uh, regular version of the the cup uh auto rookie patch for kyle chiptura on ebay like you can just go in on ebay and you probably find about six or seven of these um i've never seen a gold version of this so uh this is a really sweet card uh, it's a beautiful card like just like the other cards like i love the reflectiveness around the patch on the name um just a really nice auto no smearing no fading or anything uh just an awesome card to add to my collection and then lastly um you know i i'm a big fan of this guy so i i i add cards when i can um you know cards that really catch my eye um, I add cards of Jordan Tutu as much as possible just because he, he is probably my favorite um, indigenous player to ever play in the NHL. And this one has a really nice patch. I love 2003-04 Upper Deck Premier Collection. Probably my my favorite set of all time. Like, it's it's right up there um, as, as my number one for sure. I just love the look of the cards. Like, I love that, like, gray-blue in the back and... You know, it looks like a sheet of ice. Um, I love the design of all the of the cards. It's Premier Stars patch out of 100. Really nice looking patch. Just multicolored. Um, you know, it, it 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 it's a really like significant card in my collection um, because I collect Jordan Tutu, but also because Premier you, Premier collection from this particular year is my favorite, favorite set of all time. Um, I still need the jersey from this, from this set. I have two copies of his auto rookie patch from this. Um, I also have his autograph. He doesn't have a one of one shield. Um, so if I was to get all the cards from this, from this particular set, I just need to pick up the, um, the jersey, which is out of 250. And there's some on eBay, I just haven't got around to to picking them up yet but it's something that's you know it's on my my want list and it's something that um i want to do is complete the entire tutu collection from this set just because um because as i mentioned it's it's my favorite set of all time and yeah this this could have easily made it into my top 10 um but it's in my honorable mention so um, that's it for my honorable mention. Um, I, I won't be posting any more cards of, um, for 2020, uh, for my pickups of 2020. So, um, thanks again for watching this video. 
um, please like and subscribe if you can. If you're on Instagram, please follow me um, at Indigenous Rookie Cards. I'm also on Twitter at Cards Indigenous. Uh, please visit, visit my website, uh, www.indigenousrookiecard.com, and um, look forward to uh, you know seeing you comment, like, doing all those things. I love interactions on on YouTube. Um, I will always reply to your comments. So thanks again for uh, for supporting me, for for watching my video. Have a great night.